What is up, everybody? Thank you for joining me. I'm going to go ahead and get right to it. This is a brand new series I'm calling Can Jay Cutler Win a Super Bowl? Episode 1. If you can tell from the uh, thumbnail, I put Jay Cutler on the New England Patriots. We're going to see if he can win a Super Bowl. Um, I have added Brandon Cooks uh, to this team and also um, Stephon Gilmore. So, uh, just kind of two big uh, free agency uh, pickups they had. Well, uh, actually, I think they traded for Brandon Cooks, but, um, you know, at, making it a little bit realistic. We're going to go ahead and we're going to sim to the end of the year here. We're going to check stats at the end of the year, and we're going to see if, if uh, Jay Cutler can lead the Patriots into the playoffs, and hopefully hopefully we can make a Super Bowl run. Um while we're waiting here, uh, Jay Cutler's been one of those players in the NFL who's uh, been one of the most highly scrutinized players um, that I've I've ever seen. That, that he's been highly scrutinized not for you know what you would think uh, drugs, alcohol, partying, whatever. Uh, it's been more of you know his demeanor and things like that, and not being able to live up to the expectations because you know if you think about it. Um, Jay Cutler's talent is, uh, I mean, it is, it's some of the best I've ever seen. I mean, he's got a rocket arm. Uh, he's mobile. Um, it, you know, he's got everything that you want in a quarterback. Um, I mean, the guy in his prime, easily, in my opinion, easily the strongest arm in the league. But uh, yet, time and time again, um, you know, his big arm has got him into a few mistakes, uh, a few situations, a lot of interceptions. Uh, he's still a lot of touchdowns, but a lot of interceptions as well. Uh, I think he ended his Bears career as a fifth, or uh, his win loss record was 51 and 51, I believe, something like that. Um, but, uh, you know, in my personal opinion, you know, well, you know, when he had, you know, when he first came to Chicago, we didn't really have an offense, as I say, we, you know, as a Bears fan. Uh, the Bears didn't really have an offense, and you know they had a good defense, but um, you know no offense. And then when the defense kind of diminished, uh, you know that's when the Bears kind of had an offense. So it's never really lined up for Jay Cutler. So maybe differing situations would help him out. But you know I think in 2012, uh, 2010 was the closest he's ever got to the Super Bowl. They went to the NFC Championship, and then I think the Bears team in 2012 when they went 10 and six uh, have not Lovey Smith. Uh, hadn't he gotten fired by the uh, genius that Phil Emery was, I think 2013 would have been his best chance to win the Super Bowl. But Levy Smith got fired, and uh, that team pretty much pretty much diminished. Uh, Erlacher left, uh, you know, a couple pieces left there, and that team pretty much imploded. Let's see, where did we land here? Ten and six! We landed in the wild card against the Baltimore Ravens, ten and six, for Jay Cut the Jay Cutler led Patriots. Let's check stats here. Let's look at Jay Cutler's stats here: forty four hundred yards, thirty one touchdowns, fifteen picks. That's pretty good for old man Jay right there. Uh, Garrett Blunt had twelve hundred yards, ten touchdowns. Deion Lewis with five seventy five and eight. So running game was there. Gronk with 1,200 yards and 9. Edelman with 1,200 yards and 7. Uh, Brandon Cooks with 850 and 4. I believe Chris Hogan looking pretty good with 750 and 6. Um, Donta Hightower led the team with 105 tackles. Uh, let's see. Let's go to the sacks front here. Barkevius Mingo with 12 and a half. Rob Ninkovich with 12. And Flowers with 10. Interceptions. You see that there, Butler and uh, Gilmore had uh, nine total interceptions there. But Jay Cutler, old man Jay, looking pretty decent here. Ten and six, that's not bad. I mean, that that's not bad. Um, let's go ahead and jump in to see. Let's uh, go ahead and jump into some gameplay here. Oh, well, let's go ahead and check the MVP first. No love, no love for Jay Cutler at MVP voting, which that's kind of disappointing here. Offensive player of the year, no love. For Cuddy there, that's disappointing. Um, best QB AFC, Jay Cutler comes in at number six, forty four hundred yards, thirty five touchdowns. I mean that you know that's a little underwhelming, you know, in the award category. A little disappointing, but let's go ahead and jump into some gameplay here. Baltimore at New England in the wild card. These two teams absolutely love each other. 
Go ahead and get it started off with a pass to Gronk uh, for 12 yards. Go ahead and get let's get the oh there's the old fake Belichick oh uh, Griffin Murphy. I, you know, I, I want to know where this guy is. Griffin Murphy, I want him to come play or come coach the Chicago Bears. And uh, lead us into the black with ferocity here. Look at Chris Hogan. Holy crap, what a freaking juke. Baltimore, I'll tell you what, these two teams right here absolutely love each other. Baltimore and New England. It's a bit of a rivalry. It, 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 I think it was building into a really great rivalry, and the Ravens kind of slumped off the past couple of years. But if the Ravens get back, challenge Tom Brady a little bit more. Uh, this, this, you know, it's already had, it already has a little bit of history between these two teams. We're looking, Jay Cutler looking sharp here, looking really sharp. The line's protecting well. He's stepping up, showing off that arm strength. I, I still think he has at 33 years old. I believe he has. I still think he has 97 throwing power. Four for four, 78 yards on the first drive of the game. Griffin Murphy saying, Belichick who? I got Jay Cutler. Forget Tom Brady in his five Super Bowls. Maybe the GOAT, but no, we got Jay Cutler. Going to run. Look at Cuddy running in. Six-yard rush there for the battered Bears QB. I tell you what, this guy has been destroyed with the Bears. We've never had an offensive line. The best line the Bears have had in recent memory. Jay Cutler throws a touchdown to Rock. Or who is that? I have no idea who that is. Number 46. That's I don't know who that is, but uh, the Bears had a good offensive line back in the Rex Grossman era, uh, but have never really had a, a, a line since then. Uh, the interior of the Bears line right now is pretty, it's pretty daggone good, uh, but our tackles are complete garbage. We got a third and two here. Cuddy back to throw. Looks like he hits Hogan again. Hogan's eating these guys alive. Terrell Suggs got off the field. You're too old. Seven for 11, 109 yards, one touchdown in the first half. Red's on alert here. Let's play. Let's play. Pat's wide stutter. Right here, we got trips left. We got Gronk out wide. That's a mismatch. I don't care who is who's on him. Look at that pump. It's the underneath route here. I think that's Brandon Cooks. 9-13, 125 yards. Coach Murphy showing what he can do. He looks like he looks like the son of Mark Tressman in this game, which is not that's that's not very good. If that is any implication, then this we're gonna crash and burn. J. Keller steps up, throws a bullet, and it is dropped. Kind of a risky throw, but J. Keller's been known to be a risky guy because he knows. He, you know, he he knows he can fit a football in between a nun's butt cheeks. Boom! Bullet pass there. Rob Gronkowski. Probably the best tight end in the league. It's hard to argue. When he is healthy, this guy is absolutely uh, pretty much unguardable. Yeah, you, he cannot be covered. First and ten here. We are up 14-3 on the Baltimore Ravens. Second quarter, under two minutes to go. Jay Cutler throws a laser to Brandon Cooks. You're not going to catch that speed. Oh, steps out. Almost steps out of bounds. Bounds. Old man Weddle gets him out there. Cutler looking good. 172 yards, I believe that said. 11 for 16, maybe. Shredding this old Baltimore defense. Cutler back to pass. And, man, the line is just, the line is absolutely dominating right now. 12 for 17, 188, two TDs for the best quarterback to ever play at Vanderbilt University. And that is that is hard to argue. Going to scramble out. Old man still got some legs. Oh, that was a bad pick in the end zone. I think that was Zach Orr. Jay Cutler has been known for throwing the bad ball. And they score off of it. It is a close game. Patriots fans are so ticked. They can't find the khakis. Either their khakis are gone or their car keys. I can't understand, but they are P.O.'d. Cutler back to throw. Gronk on the catch. You're not tackling Gronk. That's a big man. Jay Cutler pumping up the team there. Red zone. We are down the red zone here. They're calling a run play. We got the strongest arm in the league, man. Maybe the history of the game. No, I'm just joking. We're going to pass the ball. Cutler back to throw. 
Gronkowski in between two guys. Touchdown. Third throw of the day. Second receiving touchdown of the get of the day for Gronk. Is this a match made in heaven? Cutler and Gronk. This might be a match made in heaven. You got Edelman and Cooks out wide. Cutler back to throw. A, a bullet over Elvis Doomerville. Elvis Doomerville is way too old to be on the field. Third touchdown of the game for Gronk. Fourth touchdown for Jay Cutler. He is shredding this Baltimore defense. Could it be? Could it just be the situation? Jay Cutler was never meant to flourish. Maybe moving to, to uh, New England. He uh, showed us what he's got. This, But this is a respectable game, ladies and gentlemen. This is a three minutes left in this game. They send the all-out blitz. Jay Cutler reads very well. That's one thing he's done in his career is actually read the blitz very well. Um, but this is this actually a respectable game. It's 28-20 with about two and a half minutes left. So Baltimore's hanging around a typical Ravens and Patriots game. Oh, the line. The line is just amazing. Brandon Cooks, you're not going to catch him. That's a touchdown. <coughs> First of the game for Mr. Cooks. Is that five touchdowns for Jay Keller? Ladies and gentlemen, we are, we are slowly but surely forgetting TB12. In comes the new era. Of the battered Bears, Cuddy. And it looks like Baltimore scored again, so we we got to go score. We have to go score. Our defense is sucking it up. Great catch by Brandon Cooks. He's got 385 and five touchdowns. Brandon Cooks has 130 yards receiving. Let's see here. Two minutes left. You know, we, we could just run the ball, but I mean, we got Jay Cutler, man. Look, look, yeah, run the ball. That's what I'm talking about. Takes a dive in. He wants this game. John Harbaugh, oh, my gosh, he is ticked. He is, I mean, he is foaming at the mouth. Them Harbaugh's, they foam at the mouth on command. Go ahead and hand off to Garrett Blunt. The Ravens cannot stop anything. That was right up the gut. That was absolutely right up the freaking belly button of the beast. Going to run the ball here again. Great play by old man T. Sizzle. Ball so hard university. I guarantee they don't offer internships there. I'd like to see his college uh, credits. Because that to me sounds a little fishy. But Garrett Blunt, stiff arms. I think that's Ladarius Webb. Darius Webb, I think he just got signed to a three-year deal with Baltimore, which is very surprising because, you know, ever since Webby tore his ACL, he's never been the same. He was a great corner, uh, the next Chris McAllister on the Ravens, until he tore his ACL, in my opinion, um, and has never been the same. You cannot tackle Gronk. Get out of here. Uh, but they moved uh, Webby back to safety. He played pretty decent safety last year. Which is, uh, you know, but I, I, I personally thought they might let him go. But um, we're going to go ahead and sit on this thing. We're going to go ahead and run this clock out. Jay Cutler, the Jay Cutler led New England Patriots. Joe Flacco is so ticked. Uh, we win the game. Jay Cutler throws for 400 yards, five touchdowns, throws it 38 times. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go ahead and uh, go into the divisional playoff here against the San Diego Chargers. We're probably going to get rocked because the Chargers are a juggernaut, a juggernaut in Madden. Uh, let's see here. Uh, San Diego scores here, of course. Oh, interception. Cutting through an interception. It wasn't me, though. It's a computer. 21 to nothing. This is ridiculous. 24 to nothing, and we, we haven't even got the ball yet. I swear, this game loves the Chargers. It's ridiculous. Like that, that Next year, that team will probably win seven games. But yet, in, in Madden, this team goes freaking... It, they, go, they go 22 and 1. Color back to throw. That was a great toss over the middle to Rob Gronkowski. And we get the flag. Griffin Murphy says, please and thanks. I'll, that dude is in the ground. He is dead. We need to get the truck out here. 
No, everybody just walks right over him. They don't even care. Ah, oh, there he goes. He popped out of the ground. Throw a little water on him, you know. It'll sprout out. Throw some dirt on it. Rub it in. It'll be all right. Jay Cutler back to throw. Brandon Cooks is wide open. Gets rocked. Holds on to the ball. He's 5 for 9, 61 yards, one interception. That Casey Hayward interception early put us in a hole. We're in the hurry-up offense. we got to score. we got to score big time. Oh, what a, that's a good throw. That's actually a really good throw. Got to throw it out of bounds, man. You got somebody freaking coming down the pipe at you, man. There is nothing worse than having a defender come right down the pipe in your in your freaking grill, man. Empty backfield for Jay Keller. Oh, they're putting it on him, ain't they? Here we go. Julian Edelman down to the four, three or four yard line. Great throw, great route. We're, we're gonna go ahead and punch his ball in. We're not running the ball. We got a freaking loose cannon back here at quarterback. We're gonna throw the freaking football. Gronkowski, best red zone target in the freaking league. Oh, what a freaking! Oh, under pressure. Hey, man, 33-year-old color. He's still got some moves, dude. He looks freaking whack in a freaking Patriots uniform. I can't stand those Pats uniforms. I think they're hideous. Touchdown. Jay Cutler to whoever that guy is. 7-24. There we go. 14-24. Here we go. Third quarter. If we can score here, we have a chance. Any famous words of Lloyd Christmas, so you're telling me there's a chance. With Jay Cutler, in the famous words of Kevin Garnett, anything is possible. Third quarter here, 3-0-9 and counting. 14-24, Chargers up on us here. Jay Cutler back to throw. Good, clean pocket. Holds on. Throws a strike. Gronkowski, touchdown. New England Patriots. Gronkowski strutting around. I tell you what, man, that dude is a savage. 2024, we have a ball game. If our defense can get a freaking stop. And, of course, they need my help. Of course, they freaking don't bend. They just break. Our defense needs help again. 38-21. to 21. Get Give me a freaking break. This might be the end of the road for Jay Cutler here in this Patriots Super Bowl run. Yeah, you know, and, and, and this is the thing. You know, we're we're gonna you look at Jay Cutler running. Not as fast as he used to be, but he's still got some wheels. And this is the thing about this. You know, it, it's only gonna be one season. I'm not gonna extend this uh, past. Um, I'm not gonna extend this past. You know, one season. Uh, we're, you know, Jay Cutler, we're going to see if we can get him, if we can build to win now with Jay Cutler. Great throw, Julian Edelman. Um, you know, I'm, but, you know, this is kind of the fun of this series here. We're going to do one season. We're going to see if we can get Jay Cutler to the Super Bowl in one year. Uh, whatever it takes, if we have to load up the Bears, uh, you know, we're going to do different scenarios here. Maybe uh, give him Le'Veon Bell and Antonio Brown, you know, or something, you know. Uh, maybe give him the Seahawks defense or um, – you know, something like that. So, um, you know, we might put him on, uh, I don't know, put him on the Cowboys or something. So, but, you know, this is just, you know, if, if we can't win the Super Bowl now, when we win the Super Bowl, we'll stop. But we're going to do, you know, we're going to keep going until we can win the Super Bowl with Jay Cutler back there at quarterback. QB1. We're going to do whatever it takes here. We're, we are down 38-21, two and a half minutes left. Cuddy's going to lead us back. Throws up a ball. That's what you do. That's what you do with your 99 overall tight end. Best tight end in the league. You just throw it up to him. And Jay Cutler knows. If, he, if there's nothing he knows, there is one thing. That is just throwing the ball up. He will do that. Oh, of course, they blow off another freaking score. Oh, my gosh. This game, I swear, I swear. It, it could be the Chargers versus, like, Jesus and a field of angels, and the Chargers would somehow put up 46 points on them. And this game loves the Chargers. It's ridiculous. And the Chargers are terrible. And that is a terrible team. I mean, that offensive line is a joke. I mean, that, that, that team is awful. But for some reason in this game, the, the Chargers are just beloved. And hit Brandon Cooks there for a... Uh, we're going to try to pad the stats here. We get 259 yards, four touchdowns, one interception, 15 for 24. 
good day for Jay. A bad day for the defense. This this might be the end of the road, ladies and gentlemen. For the Jay Cutler ride. Go ahead and throw it up to Brandon Cooks there. You're not going to – tell you what, you can't outrun Jay Cutler. A guy like Brandon Cooks would be a great addition for Jay Cutler. Um, you, you know, you're not gonna you're not gonna catch this guy. He's way too fast. Let's go ahead and see if we can get a quick score here. Maybe make this game respectable. Gronkowski, I think that's his fourth touchdown catch today. Yep. What a beast. What a beast. 34-40, 35-45. If we can get a stop, we might be able to do something. Block the field goal. Of course we don't because this is the Chargers. They'll make a freaking 80 yard field goal. That's that's gonna do it for us. Went ahead and got, let's see, third down alert. We went ahead and scored real quick. 42 48. An absolute gunner. If you're an offensive man, that is your kind of game. 48 42. That is the end of the road for Jay Cutler on the New England Patriots. We cannot go to the Super Bowl with Jay Cutler. Let's go ahead and check some quick stats here. Uh, 393 for Jay Cutler, six touchdowns. Uh, but I just want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, this will be the end for episode number one of Can Jay Cutler Win the Super Bowl? Uh, if you like this video, let me know. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Tune in for the next episode, and I will leave you with some stats here. God bless every one of you. See you next time.